Okay, so in the previous video, we worked out question A in figuring out how we calculate the lower endpoint. So question B works um, pretty much exactly the same way, so I'm just going to leave that problem out. But the other one we'll skip to here is question C, because they have reversed the interval a little bit, and so we have to kind of look at the steps that are needed in order to figure this one out. So we'll, we'll get started here, but we'll by first of all drawing a picture. Okay, so here's my distribution curve. I'm just gonna make sure the lines don't touch this time because technically it sort of goes to infinity on each side. We have the middle of our curve. Okay, and we know again, our middle is 12. That's our mean and our standard deviation is 3.1. Okay, and the interval we're playing with this time is from 11.17. So it's just gonna be below 12. Okay, so I'm just going to mark in 11.17 up to us another interval. Now, I don't really know if it's going to be over 12 or not, but I'm just going to guess because we're, we're going to have to calculate that, which is going to be our letter F. And we know that from the expression here that's given that this area is covering 16%, okay, or 0.1655 of that curve. Now I, I didn't draw this to scale because that obviously looks like it's more than 16%. We, we don't know exactly where that last number is. It could be below 12, it could be above 12. Um, it's just the math will, will eventually tell us. So <clears throat> we're going to solve this very similar to the way we did um, the last one. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the area. We're, we're essentially going to calculate the missing area and then add it to the defined area here. Because remember, we're after the letter F. That means we need to calculate the endpoint and we need to know the total area from negative infinity, you know, positive infinity here, from negative infinity up to the letter F, we need to know what this whole area is, which means we actually have to find the missing chunk on the curve, which is the part I'm just gonna shade here in blue. Okay, so first step here is to find the area up to 11.17. Okay, so this is gonna be norm CDF, and it's gonna be negative one times 10 to the 99th power. Okay, up to 11.17. And then we're going to do 12 and 3.1. Okay, so that is going to give us the missing chunk or the missing area. Because remember, norm CDF is going to give us the percent, okay, under that curve. So when we work this out to four decimal spots, it's 0.3944. So if we were to draw the picture here, it's 0.3944. That's the part that's missing. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to find the total area. Okay, so what is the total area encompassed by those two shaded portions? So in the previous question in A, we subtracted, okay, but in this question, we're not looking, we're looking for letter or point F, which is the one on the, the right side of the curve. So we're cat, we want to know what number F is that represents the total area, because that's the way those functions work. They, they go from negative infinity up to that certain value. So the first thing we're going to do, so to find the total area, we are going to add the two together. So it's 0 0.3944 plus 0 0.1655. Okay, and that's going to give us an area that's just a little more than 55%, 0 0.5599. Okay, so we know that letter, the value for F is probably going to be past, should be past 12 because we're over the 50% mark. So now all we have to do is we need to pinpoint what that number is. So that number we have to now use the inverse norm function, okay? Because we know the, the area we are, we're interested in. We're 55%, 0 0.55 or 56%, all the way up to that point there is going to give us the value for F, okay? So then we plug in our standard, our mean, and then our standard deviation. And when we work that out on the calculator, we find this number is 12.46.
So F in this case here is 12.46. That's the upper boundary. So that 16%, what we're looking at in this question is this 16% happens between 11.17 and 12.46. Okay, so two different questions. Um, where you have to find the upper and the or the lower limit and then the upper limit of a of a of a distribution on the curve and this question is a little bit more involved because you first have to find the missing area then you have to determine whether you're adding or subtracting to find the total area to get to that that end point or that starting point okay and so in this in the, the way this question is set up you have to add it and then you use the inverse norm function to finally calculate that particular endpoint on the curve.